Hi, this is Mark from Wiki Design. In this video, I'm gonna show you how to automatically embed recent uploaded videos from any YouTube channel. The best part about this tutorial is it's not gonna require any additional plugins or any sort of JavaScript. We can pull this off just using HTML and iframes. And in this situation, I'm gonna be using a little bit of CSS just to style up how these videos are gonna display. I'm gonna be using Elementor for this tutorial, but since this is just HTML, you can throw this on any type of website. You're not limited to WordPress or Elementor. You can put this on any sort of website. So let's just get started with this tutorial. The first step we need to do is grab the channel ID. So you probably noticed that when you go to YouTube, in a lot of cases, you're gonna see that this YouTube channel, for example, is CrocoBlock. They have it where the URL is CrocoBlock. Now you might have come across you know, some YouTube channels that have all this gibberish code up here, that's their channel ID. But like I said, in most cases, people have branded their YouTube channel. There's two different ways that I'm gonna show you how you can grab the channel ID. And this is probably gonna be one of the most important steps in this whole tutorial. So you wanna make sure you get the channel ID correctly. The first way I'm gonna show you is how you can view the source code to grab the channel ID. So just go to the YouTube channel that you wanna grab the ID, right click on the page and hit view page source. And I like to click this button line wrap right here. And you just copy and paste this right here into the search. And this right here is gonna pull up one result. And if you look right here where it says content equals this gibberish code, this is that channel ID. So what I recommend is just right clicking on that and copying that because we're gonna use that in the next part of the tutorial. So that's the first way you can do it. Now, the second way is a little bit easier where you don't have to go to source code. And to pull that off, you just go to this website right here. I'll leave a link in the description below. And you just copy and paste the uh, YouTube channel name right here. So I, in this case, it's youtube.com slash C slash CrocoBlock. And you just drop that bad boy in right here. Solve this really hard equation. And there you go. This is that channel name. So this is a lot easier than going to the source code, but it gets you the same results. So just like the first one, I recommend you just copy that to your clipboard and then we can proceed to the next part. Now that you have your channel ID, the next thing is we need to paste in this iframe right here. And what you need to update is this chunk right here. This is the channel ID for CrocoBlock. And if you remember from this step before, it had the beginning string of UC like this. And so when you paste that in here, you're gonna get this video is unavailable. All you have to do is change it to make sure that it starts with a UU. So you can see right here, I changed it from UC to UU. I'm not 100% why that is. It's a, some sort of YouTube uh, hack, but it works. As of recording this um, in 2022, this seems to be working really well. So you gotta make sure that what you did copy, always just make sure that it starts with a UU instead of a UC. And that's all you have to do to put that in here. Now, in this case, depending on where you're pasting this code, it all it might automatically restyle everything and make sure that the aspect ratio is correct. But as you can see inside Elementor, it doesn't scale it correctly because you have to throw a little bit of CSS code to style up these iframes. So I'm gonna show you how I was able to easily pull that off in Elementor. So in this case, I found a really easy way to do it with just a little bit of CSS code, and that is to wrap each iframe around a custom div. So let me just throw this in here and I'll have a link to the CSS code below as well. Uh, as you can see, we just have a class called Video Wrapper and I just wrapped it around the iframe. Now let me jump into that CSS code and show you what it is. So it's just these uh, little simple CSS uh, wrappers right here where you're basically just saying, um, add this little bit of padding to make it a 16 by nine ratio. Now, if you aren't using 16 by nine, this will be a little bit different, but in this situation, um, most of the time when you copy and paste anything from YouTube, it's gonna be a 16 by nine ratio, unless it's a really old video or YouTube shorts. But, and just to keep this tutorial simple, just assume that it's gonna be 16 by nine. And then you can just keep all of this right here. This is what's telling um, the HTML to render uh, at 100% by width and height. Because if you look right here, if I go into here and I start to mess with the width of this box, you're gonna see that it keeps the aspect ratio correctly. So let's go ahead and actually increase that. Because without that little bit of CSS code, it's gonna get cut off and cropped. But And that's because browsers still can't really render iframes correctly. You have to kind of tell it with CSS 
how you want it to be structured. So that's why for a long time, we're probably gonna be continuing to use CSS code like this anytime you have an iframe. So anytime you have an iframe, just assume that you're gonna to have to wrap it with a little bit of CSS code. And as you can see, when you change this to the UU in the channel name, it's gonna automatically pull in the very first video. So let's see how this uh, looks and functions on the front end. So if I hit update, I'm gonna go and check in on the front end and just see that it's pulling in the very first video. And yeah, as you can see, it's pulling in the video right here. And if I go back to my other browser right here and go to this YouTube channel. So if I go into here, you wanna make sure that it's pulling in the very first feed. So let's go ahead and do that. So if I close this down, you're gonna notice that yes, this is the very first uh, video uh, limit user access. So you can see that's working correctly right here. Now I'm gonna show you how easy it is to do the same thing and then you can target which video to play next. So this is video two, video three, and video four. And to pull that off, it's very simple actually. So just copy and paste this code from up here. And in this case, we have it three different times. So I just have three different columns. And all you have to do is add this right here. You just put and index equals two. So this is now gonna play video number two here. And if you look right here, this is going to display number three. Let me just get that out of here. As you can see, this right here says index equals three. And then this fourth one, of course, is number four. So if you want to keep going, you can go as long as you want. And that's all you have to do. You just hit update. And in this case, I wanted to make sure it's still wrapped around that um, video wrapper. So you may need to add some sort of CSS like that. But it's really easy. Once you get the very first one, you just add that little bit of index and you're good to go. And this is what it looks like on the front end. So now you can see that you can play video number three here, number four over here. And that's how easy it is to add this code so you can show the most recent videos from any YouTube channel. Make sure that you like this video, subscribe to this YouTube channel, and hit that bell to receive notifications when I release new tutorials like this. Again, this is Mark from Wiki Design.